Victims of Terrorism Victims of Terrorism Remarks by Israel's Prime Minister on Iran's attempts to make a nuclear bomb 28 years ago, Iran is three years away from reaching nuclear weapons capability. 25 years ago, Iran would have a nuclear weapon in three to five years. 11 years ago, Iran is probably one or two years away from developing weapons capability. Mossad, the national intelligence agency of the Zionist regime of Israel, assassinates Iranian scientists one after the other. They assassinated Mas'ud Ali Mohammadi and Majid Shahriari in 2010. Later, in 2011, they assassinated Dariush Rezai and Mustafa Ahmadi Roshan. In the most recent case, on November 27, 2020, they assassinated Dr. Mohsen Fakhrizadeh. He is one of the five Iranian personalities in the list of the 500 most powerful people in the world, introduced by the American magazine Foreign Policy. Dr. Fahri Zadeh also produced the first COVID-19 test kits for Iranians. Moreover, Fahri Zadeh's team had long ago set up the major and sensitive project of developing COVID-19 vaccine. He was working around the clock and conducted the first phase of clinical human trials of a coronavirus vaccine, soon ready for public use. A brief glance at history shows which one poses a serious threat to the region and the world. Iran or Israel? Iran, which has never invaded any country within the last 200 years? Or Israel, which has occupied Palestine, killing men, women and children, and has invaded many other countries in the region several times? Iran, which has signed the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, the NPT? Or Israel, which has never accepted the NPT and by possessing tens of nuclear warheads, poses the greatest threat to security and stability in the Middle East. Now imagine what would happen if Iran or any other country which is not a US ally assassinated Israel's nuclear scientists. Can you imagine how outrageous Western governments, their media, flag bearers of human rights and their think tanks would become? No, no one would ever look daggers at Israel's nuclear bombs. A simple inquiry into the uses of nuclear energy in medicine, radioisotope production, the use of nuclear energy to replace fossil fuels, and nuclear applications in agriculture and industry makes it clear that the glorious survival of every country is dependent on the peaceful use of nuclear energy. This is exactly what the International Atomic Energy Agency, the IAEA, has confirmed several times about Iran's nuclear programs regarding the fact that a lack of access to nuclear power can enable the oppressors to keep their knees on our neck, we can better realize why Iran's nuclear scientists are assassinated. The USA and Israel are well aware that the Muslim nation of Iran, in adherence to their religious teachings, will never attempt to make nuclear weapons. According to the USA and Israel, Iran should not make any progress and should always remain underdeveloped with its lifeline reliant on them. However, this is just a mere fantasy which will never be fulfilled by assassinating Iranian generals and scientists.